That's like, amazing. You know, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. He taught me a lot. He, he he helped me on this path. But uh, I believe like all the stuff, like how they teach us about our history and in school about slavery and Jim Crow and all that stuff. I believe that shit came from like like some communists to get black people to hate America. You know what I'm saying? Right. And just and just try to tear the country down from the inside in because like like I know like like racism and like slavery and all that shit wouldn't have stopped if it wasn't for white people. And then when you learn about people like or what's what's his name? John Brown. Mm. Hello? You ever heard of John Brown? Uh the, m- maybe. No, John I don't think I have. Oh, oh, look! John Brown was a was a glider. He was a glider. Was he was a, he was the abolitionist. He was an abolitionist. He was yeah. the he was the one who kicked off the uh, Civil War because he he seen his black friend get killed by some older white guys, and he just went on a war path ever since then. But uh, it's just it's just it's just it's just right and wrong. That's all it is, man. So I wouldn't don't call yourself a racist. You just got sense. I just wanted to hop in there and say that you seem like a lovely person. Well, just thank God you. Bless, yeah, just God bless everybody on the panel, man. Right. Right. Now, Mayo, he's a racist. Have you guys? Have you guys remembered? Um, have you guys? Uh, you guys I'm the worst. Water Boys, right, Water Boys, right, Water Boys. So here, here, here we go with Water Boys. This isn't um, this isn't Baltimore Water Boys, but this is um, Houston Water Boys. All right, so this is what this is Houston Water Boys. Man, you fuck me. Outsourcing. All of them, nigga. All of them. Crip, heavy up, nigga. That's not yeah, you. You a hoe, nigga. That's not like that. You a pussy, man. They robbing them. They robbing the water boys. They robbing the water boys. These these niggas came up and robbed the water boy. Watch man, you fuck black niggas from hoes. All of them, nigga. All of them, nigga. Crip, heavy up, nigga. That's not you. You a hoe, nigga. That's not like that. You a pussy, man. Yo, nigga. And this murder game's happening, nigga. And Ted Twins, I said, fuck like that. Bitch, uh, hey, lift your jacket up real quick. Can you lift your shit up? I switch to you, right? Hey, lift your jacket up. Hey, lift your jacket up, nigga. Lift that shit up, bitch. Y'all hey, niggas some broke ass. Nah, like I, I'm going to kill you next oh, time uh, I see you. Uh, but, don't, let me catch you no more. All that bumping on the ass. Hey, come here. Come here. Give me a cigarette. In the water. In the water. In the water. Give me the water. Y'all niggas some hoes, man. Come <laughs> hey, can we hire them to go to Baltimore? <laughs> I noticed that the driver has people in the back seat, probably armed, ready to go. Oh yeah, without drive. a doubt. But here's here's the thing: do you do you notice when I told you why the Baltimore Water Boys, why they operate where they operate at, why they operate downtown Baltimore? Cause that way they don't have to see uh, other sun men. Yeah, fighters they prey on. That shit you never see the water boys in the hood. You always see them. Even in Atlanta, you see them by the um, by by the exit, the exit ramp, the off ramp to the exit or downtown. This is what we're in the glider to- areas where they're gonna run into gliders and umbritos and I, I nobody wants and, to get uh, gun divers. This is what would happen. If the uh, water boys operated, you're in standing, stand? yeah, yeah, in 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 the inner stand. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because because yeah. this is what would happen. This is how when I told you, I, like some men aren't used to hearing yes all the time, only from gliders. Like an hour ago, I told you guys yeah. that some men are used to this from other sun men. They come to you. And they get nothing but yeses, and then they make you feel bad about taking too long, or you carried the S, the or you said it with an attitude when you said yes, but they get treated like this by other some. And these guys are said the shit they're saying to these kids. Look at how this kid. This is the same kid that would snatch a white lady's purse and and transfer all her money to his cash app. This is the same kid that if you um didn't have any money and you were white, he would break your fucking windshield wipers. Look at how this kid is acting to these other son people. Man, you fuck black niggas from hoes. All of it, nigga. All of it, nigga. Crip, heavy up, nigga. That's not Yo, like nigga. You a hoe, nigga. That's not like that. That's That's not like that. You a pussy, nigga. Yo, nigga. And this murder game's happening, nigga. 
And tell twins, man, I said, fuck me. Like hey, lift your jacket up real quick. Can you lift your shit up by switch teaser right hey, now? Hey, lift your jacket up. Care, hey, lift your jacket up, nigga. Yeah, lift that shit up, bitch. Hey, I'm yeah, nigga, some broke ass. Yeah, like I I'm a kid, man. Oh, well, man. I see you, yo. Let me catch you one more. All that bumping on the ass. Hey, come here. Come here. Give me no cigarettes. In the water. In the water. In the water. Give me the water. Y'all niggas some hoes, man. Man, you fall black. If you think that these two kids wouldn't fucking wouldn't fucking reach in the car and punch a white lady who who um told them that she didn't have any money, you're fucking crazy. They're only acting like this because they're dealing with other sons. <laughs> well, and here we find the real reason why they freak out anytime a glider says the N word, because it is a powerful word to them. Yeah, it's if not anybody it's, says it to them, it is a power word. That just that just looks like rival hyenas. You know what I mean? Like rival packs of animals. You know, but it's it's hyenas versus other. lions. It's not, yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. like it's, yeah, it's lions against lions, you know. Like, oh, the the weaker ones got punked right here, and that's what happens. Like when the alphas come in, they'll grab the little cub lions and they'll grab them by the neck and kill them and and get rid of them so they can get to the females. You know what I mean? Like, just the life on the savanna, like you say, Oc. Yeah. Um, salute to GG Ryder, man. He says I saw a National Justice Party. In my local news, when three sons stomped the glider to death at basketball courts, county dropped murder charges. Put that in the back chat. Um, send that to me, Gigi Ryder. Um, salute to um, Lord Mingo. You covered Lomingo. that story, Ock. That that's the what, what Baltimore or something where where the son where the glider was playing basketball with the sun teams and the 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 peripheral sun teams absolutely stomped him out and beat him up and he. He, he died from a brain bleed or whatever it was. No, I no, think I, it, that was the one that that happened at uh LeBron school. Oh, LeBron school is that what he's talking about? I yeah, where that. where they drove by with the water guns. Oh no, yeah, no charges. Yeah, no, that was different because they were fucking with those kids. Yeah, that, yeah. That, yeah, the white guy got got out the car, tried to break it up, break up the fight, and then they fucking curb stomped his ass. Um, so yeah, glad I should have stayed in the car. Um. Shout out to um, Lomingo. He says, shout out to John Brown. Shout out to Gladys. <laughs> shout out to oh, God bless America. <laughs> um, let me see, man. Um, but yeah, these kids, I promise you, these kids with some gliders. You buy some water. Come on, man. Buy some water, man. Buy some water. We've been out here all day, man. Man, fuck you, bitch. It's it's just you just get a different son, man. You don't even know. Like a glider was kind of these sun men and think they were the hardest sun men on the block. But these sun men are just only doing that because you're you. Because you you know you know what I'm saying you're you you're you're at the bottom, bottom of the food chain. Like you're like you're not even like an antelope glider, you're like a um a sloth. You ever see those three-toed sloths? You're like a three-toed sloth, you know what I'm saying? Um, in the, in this in this ecosystem, now in the whole world you're apex predators, but in this little ecosystem you're a three-toed sloth. But yeah, these guys right here would definitely like be abusing gliders and taking their shit, snatching their phones, kicking this out of their cars. If they didn't give them fun, you know what I'm saying? The same shit we see in Baltimore, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, um, let me um let me let, let's you know, as a matter of fact, let me see what is what is up with the water boys in Atlanta, man. I haven't heard nothing about out of the water boys in a while, man. It's been a while, man. Since I've since I've since I've had this water boy story, man. Gen Z covered that. They uh they kind of them back don't tell from there. Yeah, don't tell us. Let me let me find out. Let me find out. Let me find out, man. Let me find out what's going on with these water boys, man. Yeah, man. Um, these fuckers. 
Golly, man. That's fucked up, man. Uh, all right, let's see. All right. Let's see what's going on, man, with these fucking water boys. These these agua chicos. <laughs> agua itos. The agua itos, man. Um that's what they're calling them? No, nah, I'm just I'm fucking around. I was about to say what the fuck? Just said, <laughs> Good night, y'all. All right, man. You take it easy. All right, y'all well, have night. a good night. Good night. Let's see some video shows a shooting outside Greenbrier oh. Mall and all of it over a single bottle of water. The victim saying things took a turn for the worse when he didn't want to buy a bottle of water from a teen. CBS 46's Sierra Cummings is live there tonight. And Sierra, you were able to speak to one of those water sellers. What did they tell you? Well, they've got a message for their fellow sailors, but first the victim was shot right here, the local smoke shop, capturing the entire thing on surveillance. And as you mentioned, it appears this all happened because that victim did not want to buy from the self-proclaimed well-known water boys. Police say kids told a customer coming from the nearby deli to buy a water from them. That customer told them to leave him alone as he walked back to his van. APD said because the water boys talked disrespectfully to the customer's wife, there ended up being some back and forth. You can see the kid pull out something. Then moments later, the customer appears to be in pain, checking his body, realizing he was shot. Here on Greenbrier, the kids are known to be adamant about making a sale, but we talked to ones here today who had this message to share with their fellow sellers. We come out here every day to make some money. And for people, and for, and for black people to tell us no, we take that a certain way. We're like, oh, okay. They tell us no, we get angry. But I got to tell but but if some pookies or ray rays pull up, it's some it it, it it it's a whole different story. They're gonna walk right past them. They don't yeah, want that they, smoke. Yeah, they're not gonna ask them. They're not gonna ask yeah. them about no waters. Yeah. No, no, no. Like even the like these guys are the squeegee guys. Now get the fuck away from my car if you don't mind, please and thank you, motherfucker. Yeah. Exactly. These guys ain't. These guys ain't gonna. Um, they're not gonna try to settle. They gonna see them dudes pull up in that Dodge Char tinted out Dodge Charger, and they ain't gonna. They ain't gonna fuck. They they not gonna ask them. Do they know in the water? They no, not gonna fuck be, them. Because they know, and we know that in that Dodge, there's a gun. Yeah, and even if it's not, they get out and fuck them up. And if and then it's also the it's also the coming back too. Like if you're a squeegee boy, you have like you, they work at this mall, right? Like even if the guys don't have a gun, you you're here and they know you're here. So anytime in the future, you know some, you know, anytime in the future, they just come back and kill you. Like it's never over. So you you know that in that charger is not only a gun, but it's it's a fucking memory, like a fucking elephant in that car too. It's never going to be over if you say some slick shit to them. Um, yeah, I just want to show you guys like some stories, like just because I think a lot of people could feel sorry. There's a there's an inclination to feel sorry for those guys getting punked out and robbed in that fucking car. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you have to understand that those motherfuckers are 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 only doing that because they've met a more ravenous beast two teenagers selling bottled water near the interstate became hostile with a woman who refused to buy anything this happened tuesday near i-285 and martin luther king jr drive in atlanta cbs 46 is ashley thompson she joins us live in atlanta right now ashley you've been covering the story and the woman left the scene apparently but things escalated when she returned with some backup that's right, Sean, and it's starting to get warmer outside. So we're starting to see more of these young teens on the roadways selling bottles of water. It's typically safe, but a couple's encounter just a few days ago ended in gunfire. At $1 a bottle, teenagers around Atlanta can make pretty good money selling water. I really think it's a good idea for, for the young kids to find something different to do other than what's known in different neighborhoods. You'll often see them right off the interstate, capitalizing on buildup at traffic lights. It keep them from doing negative things. It help them keep money in their pocket, never know what their money capable of. 
You know what I'm saying? That money helping them out in any many, many ways. But on Tuesday, around 645 in the evening, two teenagers selling bottled water in southwest Atlanta gave this line of work a bad rap. Atlanta police say a woman exiting I-285 onto Martin Luther King Jr. Drive was asked to buy water. When she declined, one of the teens threw a bottle at her. When when you're in a car, it's pretty dangerous. You know, people coming up to the car, it's, it's pretty dangerous. Police say the woman came back with her husband to speak with the teens. That's when one of the young men opened fire. I think that was really bad because, like, you can't make people buy water. If somebody doesn't want it, you know, just let them go. Fortunately, the couple was not struck. Atlanta police tracked down the teens responsible, charging a 15-year-old with aggravated assault and possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony. A 17-year-old was charged with disorderly conduct and terroristic threats. I buy it. I always try to incur. Okay, so that's, it's the same kids, man. It's not different. Drive through Atlanta. Chances are you've seen those kids selling bottled water at various intersections. They seem to be everywhere. And now one prominent city leader is calling on the mayor to stop the activity. Yeah, man, it's, it's. <sighs> I got to confused with the squeegee boys from Baltimore. You got the what? Huh? They're you the said water thing, boys. John I got them confused with the the squeegee boys from Baltimore. Well, same same shit. Same shit. Same, <laughs> same, same, same difference. Yeah, it's the same intimidation game. <laughs> I mean, I mean, what's the difference? Is there a difference? I guess the yeah. water bottle, right? It, it, yeah, strong exactly. arm robbery, strong arm robbery. I mean, the only then, difference is the product. In the in the in, in the, the the way they act towards the public, it's just like I mean, it's just insane, man. Like, like the, the shoot, you just shooting at people and shit. Okay, here we go. Um, Squeegee boy shares his heartfelt story. That's why I'm out here to get my family out of Baltimore. I ain't got to sell no drugs. I know how to save money. I'm gonna get my family out of Baltimore. I'm going to own a business, and that's going to be my career. All right, here we are, downtown Baltimore. We're here with a squeaky boy. What's your name? Boosie. Boosie? Boosie. How long have you been the been squeaky boy? I've been squeezing for like two, three two three months how'd you get into it i how'd got into it off? somebody somebody put a squeeze in my hand and told me let's make quick and faster money mm. steady being on the corner selling drugs or going to somebody <laughs> but ah they're all kids remember <laughs> yeah exactly. it's just kids right Put a squeegee in my hand. What the? <laughs> hey, it's like, no, you know what happened? The word, the word of God, looking at his motherfucker. He, he caught his first adult case. Ooh, yeah, he had to stop fucking around, man, before they stop playing with him. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. I mean, I wonder yeah. how do you, do we know? Do we know how much they make more or less? In a day, man, they don't they don't make shit unless they robbing. They they, they make tips, so I mean, it, it 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 varies. You may have a good day, but I'm sure most days are, are ho hum. I'm sure, you, you can, we can make fucking twenty dollars, man, if you if you're lucky. I mean, because there's so many of them out there, and 